Hi, my name is Bob and welcome back to the homestead, y'all. We've had many questions about our solar trackers from multiple viewers, so I thought I would just make a video and try to answer as many of those questions as I can. Um, first of all, this is the one that we made the video of on DIY solar tracker, and I'll put the link in the description down below in case you haven't saw that. But this one we use 10 foot Unistrat on. These are three 250 watt panels, and you can see it covered the whole 10 foot of the Unistrut. But I'm gonna take you around back. A lot of people had questions about the mount and how it pivoted. So we'll go around the back of the tracker and we'll look at that. One of the first questions somebody asked was the dimensions of the actual pivot head and the tracker itself. So the pivot head is an actually a five inch base. This is a five inch round base, round tubing. And then the, the brace on it, the, the mount on it, I'll get a measurement on it here. But from one side to the other, it's 36 inches by 36 inches. So the actual piece that the Unistrut mounts on is three foot by three foot. Another question somebody asked was, how did it pivot? Now I have several of these trackers and the main way there's two different ways that they actually build these to pivot. This one here, you can see there's a bolt and it's, there's a nut welded on the back side. Albert, grab the camera and bring it around and show you, but that's where it pivots on. So this is the actual pivot point. You can see there's two nuts right here. One of them is welded to the frame and then the other one you lock against it. So this bolt that's going through this between this piece of C channel and this piece of flat stock, then there's a washer on the back side and they have a nut welded there. So this is the actual pivot point where it pivots on this particular kind. I'll take you around to this other tracker and I'll show you how it pivots. Okay, now this one's a little bit different. This one has a threaded rod that goes all the way through this piece of tubing. Now this piece of tubing on this one is a three inch squared piece of tubing. There's a threaded rod that goes all the way through it. It's welded. This nut is welded to these two pieces. So this actually pivots this way. So that's just a, a piece of threaded rod. I think that's a one inch rod. Yep, that's a piece of one inch threaded rod. And the nut is what pivots on this particular head. Now this is the tracker part of it. Now the other pivot where it pivots the other way On this one is right here. So you can see they have a nut welded here. This is another piece of one inch threaded rod that goes through and a nut welded on two pieces of flat stock. Now this is where you adjust it for your seasonal adjustment for the winter time. This is what actually tilts it. If this was a dual axis, then this would be the pivot point for the second axis on it that pivots. But right now, it, I just have a piece of threaded rod in here. Let me back this up you can see it this is just a piece of all thread that goes through mounted on a little bracket up here and a bracket down here and I just loosen those and slide the rod up or down depending on the angle that I want for whether it's winter time or whether it's summertime okay we had a viewer that wanted to see the combiner box so this is the combiner box for one of our solar trackers this is our three positive wires coming in from the solar panels coming up, coming in, they're being paralleled here with this connector and a single wire going back. This is our negative from all the solar panels coming in here and going back. This is our ground down here on the back plate. So you can see they're pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We have a lightning arrestor in here also, and it's tied to our positive and negative and to our ground. So hopefully if we get struck by lightning, if the tracker does, that the light, lightning arrestor does its job. But it's pretty straightforward. You just bring all your positives in, a breaker for each one, and then all your negatives you can put on a single bus bar and then run one wire going back into your battery panels. If you have any questions or comments on this, please leave them below. And thanks for watching.